Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. I um, thought I'd do a quick video just to um, let people know how I am. I've had quite a lot of requests asking if I'm still okay and everything like that. And I've got a, a lawnmower to do it for myself. I'm not going to be regularly uploading again, but I thought I'd turn the camera on while I was doing it. We'll have a look around this McAllister. I paid £30 for it. I'm going to keep this one. Hopefully, it's got a drive on. And that grass box don't quite fit, but my old lawnmower now is looking and feeling pretty old. So I want to have a look at one of these newer style ones today. The newer style carbs, these are quite prone for pulsing. So if you've got one that revs up and down, stay tuned. I'll, I'll probably uh, strip this down and show you how to service the carb on that as well. There's a few other things with these carbs that can go wrong, so we'll get into that. So, let's see if it starts. Right, so these have got a primer on the side never had one of these before, there's a little primer button, a red primer button in here, press this a few times, I've put a bit of fuel in it, but I've not tried it yet, um, I've got to go with this E5 fuel, so I'm not sure how that's going to go, but whatever you do with any of these, don't get E10, it won't last very long at all, um, let's give it a go, well, fires, good start, fires up, on it, mm -hmm. at least you know it'll run, worse when you get one, it doesn't start at all, Right, so for anybody who's wondering, I have checked the oil, I always get this, someone always comments and says, oh, I had to check the oil first, I have checked the oil, but it's got the classic sign of the carb needed servicing, so we're going to take a look at um, servicing this one up, I'll tip it up and do the usual, clean the underside off and we'll start stripping this down, if you've got a Briggs & Stratton 450E petrol lawnmower, has the same problem as this, or even worse, stick around and I'll show you how to resolve it, so you don't have to buy yourself a new petrol lawnmower. So yeah, we'll get into this. I'm going to show you a few things I do to clean the underside off. And um, my guess is with this one is that the belt might have come off. So I'll show you which way to tip it up so you're not spilling petrol out all over the floor. Really, one really key thing is just don't turn the lawnmower right over to drain the oil out or clean the underside. You're just going to flood everything and cause yourself massive problems. So I have, um, wait there, I'll show you. There's two different parts of the catcher. There's this one, and this is your normal end to your catcher, but this is like a... I can call it a dirt blaster or something like that. This one's more powerful, so it might take a little bit of paint off underneath, but if it's really bad, and you've got two attachments on your couch, it's worth trying this other one. So I'm gonna tip this up, and we're gonna clean off the underside, all the outside, before we start working on this mower. Right, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do before you do anything on the mower, is you're gonna to need to remove this spark plug lead up here. It's really close to the exhaust on this model, so if you've run it for any length of time, be very careful not to burn your hand. That's what you want to do. I'm going to tip it with the carburetor side, the carburetor is in here, this side, so you want to tip it with the carburetor side up and the exhaust side facing the floor, and you want to tip it no further than kind of this sort of angle, the minimum you can tip it to get it under with the, uh, the catcher, that way you shouldn't have loads of fuel running out. So what I'll do next is i change this catcher end back to the original one and it's a bit controversial but as long as you're not taking the paint off it gets all this dirt out of here um, the other side is even worse I think that there. around the back as well around the back there I'm going to get all that off um, then we can work on this mower So one thing I like to do when I've had this tipped up and cleaned it off is just put the plug back in. Obviously it's had water on it, it's not intended for that. You know, it's not a submarine, is it? Um, I just noticed there's a throttle on here. I didn't notice that before. Anyway, it ran before, so I'm not sure the throttle does much on this type of lawnmower, but um, I just want to check it runs again now that it's tipped upside down, so I know that if I take it apart and put it together, it was running before. fine I know that now I've had it tipped up it runs again it's really interesting while I've been away from YouTube I've had all sorts of weird messages saying oh he's got AstroTurf and you know he's got rid of all this stuff but I've put my garage back um, got an exercise DVD there failed at that one tumble dryer still on everything is still as it was um, I did have it the other way out I started a channel called Income Bunker 
um, because I've been doing some, uh, I write a lot of websites now, which is why I didn't really have the time to do the mower vids, but um, just when I've been on computer a lot, it's quite nice to just come out, so yeah, the garage is back, it's not as uh, tidy as it was, I ain't got the shelves back, but this is still working, look. So because this lawnmower actually runs, that's kind of an advantage for changing the oil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it running for around five minutes to warm this oil up and I'm going to extract it with this extractor here. Now if you haven't got an extractor, what you can do again is you can tip this just as far as you need to. So you take the oil dipstick out here and you can tip it over and extract what you need to. But just do it for the minimum amount of time. If you can invest in a small one of these for around £10-£15, um, it'll... If you're going to do this regularly and try and repair these for profit, get yourself a small oil extraction. It saves you tipping the lawnmowers up when you don't need to. Right, let's pump this oil out of here then. See if we can get this going. There we go. So much easier when you've got some tools. One thing I don't like about these models is it's if you've you know you've only got limited tools and you want to get a spanner on here, you can't get in on the older style bridge ones. You could get in, and my normal spark plug tool doesn't work but luckily I've got some box spanners but not everybody's got box spanners if someone is just buying this lawnmower who's got you know just a couple of spanners and they might have the right one they're never going to be able to get in and get the plug off I think it's a really poor design that so I've got some box spanners and just for reference for anybody it's a 16 mil spanner you're going to need so sometimes these are tight that's not too bad actually looks like I cheated then didn't it yeah like, looks like I've done it earlier like Blue Peter you don't remember Blue Peter mate do you no David's my mobile cameraman today aren't you mate yep um yeah, they used to do it and say, oh, here's one I made earlier. Let me know in the comments if you remember Blue Peter when they used to say that. But I didn't cheat, and that plug looks quite nice, actually. It's quite clean. I don't know if you can see the end of that. We've got the plug out. We're going to start stripping this carb down. Right, so first thing we're going to do now, we've got the spark plug out. Don't forget to take the spark plug out. It's very, very important. Set this air filter box here. Let's just put your thumb on the top of here and pull, and this will come off. This is absolutely filthy. Um, I'll put these parts, let's put them over here keep everything tidy. I'm going to leave the fuel in this one I'm going to clamp this fuel line under here see what that's like. Uh, it's quite solid that, I'm not sure if it'll clamp, I might have to extract the fuel out of there. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to get a few tools here if you can film in there mate, I think there's four of these little bolts in here, we're going to take these off and from memory I think two of them are slightly smaller than the other two None of, yeah there's two there but there's always one I forget about which is here so we're going to take these four parts off here just remove this air filter cover box seven and I think I got an eight out didn't I? yeah seven and eight mil the smaller ones are seven Let's take these smaller ones off here um, you've got to remember where they were so the seven mil ones I think are these silver looking ones and the eight mil ones are the black ones hopefully that'll help you out in the future and just placing my little parts tray there so there just say this again, this is for my benefit when I watch the video about the 7 mil ones there at the left hand side, inside the air filter cover and at the bottom there I'll take these off the reason I'm taking all this off is so I can get to the carburetor and can take it off and give it a bit of a clean so that's the 7 mil ones, we're going to take this 8 mil one off here I'll also show you where the governor spring is on this as well so a lot of people have messaged me over winter saying how do I make this run a little bit faster and sometimes I, I try not to reply because what they probably mean is it's revving up and down if they genuinely mean it runs okay but they want it to run faster I'm going to show you how you can tweak that here as well but you've got to be very careful not to go too far with this they are set at a specific um, speed so I'll show you where the spring is for that and you would never be able to get to it if you didn't really take these parts off so this is a longer thread than I was thinking so I'll take that off there hopefully that's out these are the 8 mil ones, put them the other way around in the tub so I can remember and there's another one here and it's just a matter of cleaning things off, I'm going to get another filter for this I don't have a filter for this at the minute but I'll, I'll buy one as I said this mower is really for myself really I'm a bit disappointed the, uh, the self-drive isn't working in fact we should have had a look underneath mate and see if there was a blade on it taking the belt guard cover off couldn't we yeah. if we end up draining the fuel out of this we'll have no fuel in it and no oil in it so we can still tip it over can't we yes. it's always best to do that sort of work when there's nothing in the mower there's no um, oil or petrol in it then you can tip it um, over a little bit more if you need to so hopefully that's out of there that's what more doing and I thought sorry if that was frustrating I didn't do it very well, but you know, that's how it is. I'll take this off here. You can see in here now, we've got to this uh, carburetor part here. 
or something I don't like there, it looks like emulsification there, you see that yellow there? Don't really like that, that's where oil and water's probably been mixing. But I can get in now, I don't know if these carbs just slip off. I'm not even sure if I can remember, but I think it just pulls off this thing here. That's it, like that, and it should drop out. And then we'll work out a way to get this linkage off here. And to do a lot of this stuff, it's a lot easier to just take this cover off. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tools here, and we'll just take this guard off, and we'll move it out of the way, and I can get all this out of the way, and I can see what I'm doing. So, I'm still struggling. I've got my main toolbox, this Halford's toolbox I bought, I don't know, probably about 10 years ago. Um, lifetime warranty on all the Halford stuff as well and it's been brilliant I think I've had one of these I think it was the smallest one of these that kept dropping the, the actual sockets off it so I took it back and just replaced it kept the receipt it's been brilliant nothing at all is broken I've used it so many times it's just ridiculous so brilliant value for money for what I needed so take that off there move that out of the way like that I can see here you can get in to take everything off here so we should be able to get this carb off but what I need to do first I'm going to clamp this fuel line here. So I've got my mixed modes sticker here, I've got my four tips, this is one of mixed tips and this is how he clamps the fuel lines. So this is quite a thick fuel line but what he does is he gets these little four tips like that and he just clamps it which is absolute genius. If I get some pliers there I'm now going to squeeze this part in and pull this carb off. There might be a little bit of fuel comes out but not much. So I'm going to grab this here, these pliers, slide that along there like that and it should free off this fuel pipe. This is probably going to be a bit stiff. Just ease this off here a bit. It's always a bit faffy all this sort of stuff. So let's just grab it like this. Um, what I normally do is I just get an old bolt like that. These forceps aren't really strong enough. You'd have to watch a pro like Mick do it on his channel, so you'd be laughing at me now, Mick, I know you will. So let's get that off there. I'm going to bend this off here, and we've got this whole carb off. There'll be a bit of a spillage when you get this off, but I'm just going to wipe this paint off here now, make sure it doesn't all stay on the paint. But the main thing is I've got this carb off and we can service this. So these parts, when you take all these off, what you want to be doing is you want to be cleaning all these parts out. If you've got an air compressor, just blow all this stuff out and make sure it all works as well. If you see on the back of here, it's actually a little, like a gauze, like a screen in there. If you press the primer and you put your finger there and then let go of it, it'll move in. And that way you can be sure the primer's not, not split. So if you're having starting problems, it could be because this primer bulb has split. Make sure this is clean and make sure you only press it like this. There's some pressure there like that. Clean everything off as you take it off, including the back side of this. And um, obviously that's, you know, probably cleanable, but for the price of it, I'll probably just buy a new one. Right, so we're going to service this carb. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. These are complement slip boxes. You see, you know complement slips you used to get in the post when you bought something? You probably still do from decent companies. I use a box. The reason is you're going to get some fuel coming out of here. I'm going to take all the rubber parts here off these carbs because you don't want any carb spray going on these rubber parts because what happens is that they expand, they end up being too big, see that fuel pouring out of there, and they end up not going back in and you have to buy a new carb. So these carbs are pretty cheap. Wow, it must be frustrating watching me get this out of here. Um, <laughs> these carbs are pretty cheap, but if you can clean them off, that should be all you need to do. I'm going to take that out of there. Um, should get a screwdriver really and take this out again. Pop that one out. It should be a black one behind it. And for reference, the black one goes in first. And again, I'm not putting these in where the carb is here. What have we got here? Oh, what? So it's either a 7 or an 8 mil seems to get every job done on this mower. So if I can find my 7 mil socket, wherever I've put that, which is here, I should be able to get it off. So I'll get this here. What I want to do is get the bottom of the carb off clean everything off with some carb cleaner, blow it all out with a compressor and I'll show you something um, that you can do if you've bought multiple carbs and it still don't run right. What I would suggest you do with these mowers if it doesn't run right even after you've cleaned it is just buy another carb because these are really really dodgy. A lot of people don't like these. I don't mind them because if there's anything wrong with them they're very cheap to replace. So got those two parts out of there and put this in here and just twist it a little bit like that 
and it opens it all up. Get all this old fuel out of here. Pop that in there for now. There should be another one here. I want that one off as well. Just be real careful. And they're off out of the way. I'm not going to leave them in the tub where there's any petrol or any car There's a little pin here, and I don't like this design here because you can easily get it out, but I'd rather push it through something. Can you zoom in on that, mate, and I can show everybody what I mean? Can you see that bit there? Mm. It don't, literally doesn't go through anything, does it? No. It, but it's easy to pop out. So it's easy to get in and out, but I, I always feel like it could go wrong, that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section. So let's get that off there. Don't lose this little pin here. That can all stay in one piece. And you might have noticed there that this actual needle dropped out as well. I'll show you how to put that back on in just a little bit. So the main problem with these calves is in this part here, these tiny little holes in here. You see these holes? Yeah. These get blocked up. You're going to need to put a little bit of wire through these sometimes. And what I was saying is if you're having multiple problems, there's some videos, and I'll link to them in the description on Mix Moore's channel, where he actually drills out these little holes in here to let a little bit, little bit more fuel through. And he solves the problem a lot of people have had. So I'm going to take that out here. And this is what I kind of refer to as the, I used to refer to as the Twin Towers, even though there's three. And this will only go back in one way so you can't really get this wrong if you try and get it back in the other way later on it don't go in so you can't get it wrong and again I'm going to spend some time off camera now in a second I'm going to take these rubber parts off here and off here I'm going to clean all this out blow it all out with the compressor and put all this back on but if you can see all these little holes on here at the top of here and round here anyway you can see a tiny little hole you want to make sure these are completely clean and clear because if they're not your lawnmower will surge probably not even start so this is the culprit on a lot of these Briggs 450 e petrol lawnmowers if this part's dirty and clogged up your lawnmower's not going to run correctly and this is the cause of all the surging problems that you will have been having one other thing I want to mention as well before I take these rubber parts off is this part actually comes off here it's really a bit fidgety to do but if you twist and turn this it comes off and again you've got more holes and parts in here so when you're going to blow this out make sure you take this part off here and you're getting all the holes that are now accessible and clean the whole thing off there's also some tiny little holes inside here as well just have a really good look around it there's more than you think what I see a lot of people doing as well is losing this part in here there's actually this white part that goes in here and you've got to get this back in the right way there's a hole in the bottom of this if you can see this that hole has to go back down to the bottom. If that doesn't go dead straight then these triple twin tower parts don't push back up through the hole. If you're struggling to get that part back in it's because this has moved and that happens quite a lot. So it's a little bit of trial and error. You've got to get these lined up. We'll put this back together so let's just do it yeah. Now well, I've got my camera on. Can you see what I'm filming mate? Yep. Right let's see if we can remember what to do. Uh, it's been a while hasn't it? Is it like that or what? How was it David? Uh, like that? No, it wasn't like that. No? How did it go? Like that, look. Yeah? There we go. There's loads of little parts in these, isn't there? Loads and loads of little holes. Even in the carb down here, there's tiny little holes. Just get an airline and blow the whole thing out. Put this back on here. Make sure this is pushed all the way down. Like that. Yeah. And that's in like that. I'm going to get the carb. Pop this back in, remember what I said earlier, I can't get it in the wrong way. I can only get it in the right way. And at the bottom of here, can you see what I've got on? So film here. Yeah. There's a, this hole needs to line up. So if you're really struggling to get this in, it's because that hole is not lined up. And if you look now from the top, you can see it's pushed back through that hole. Now, I've used carb spray on this and blown it all out. Didn't bother filming that, I've done it on loads of other videos. I'll probably link to some of those throughout this one. Now I'm going to put the rubber parts back in. I'll put the black part back in first. It's pretty simple to do really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'll put the white part back in here. And then I'll try and remember how to put this float back in as well. I've got that back in there, like that. That's not very good, is it? Let's have another go at that. It's good fun sort of thing, because everything goes wrong when you film it. Especially when you haven't done one for a while. There we go, that's going in there nice now. Let's just make sure that's in right. There we go, it's clipped back in. Make sure they are in really well. So, I've got to get this needle in here now. 
you can see this needle actually goes down the back of here you gotta slide this in this little part here and hang it in I find the easiest way is to hang it like this so it's kind of hanging down like that and probably best to do it over a tub she's probably going to drop it a couple of times no spring on these or anything like that you just put it in pop that down and I get this pin again and lock the whole thing down so after a bit of fiddling around I can't even remember if it was the right way around or anything but um, it's like that put this pin back through here and uh, a few moments off camera there where we dropped it <laughs> can't like press it down and the thing here is just to make sure that this this whole thing lifts up and down and if you can see the needle down the back there then make sure that the needle's going up and down if you find you've got a ever like a moped or a, a carb on a, a lawnmower that floods it's because the needle gets stuck and that's it for the carb that's basically it I'm gonna put this back on here you don't need to see all this I'm gonna put this gasket back on here and we're gonna tighten this back up and that's the whole carb serviced Right, so we're going to put this back on, one linkage here, push that back through the top, shove that back up there and get this fuel pipe out of the way for now. This white part here goes in that gap and then you just push this onto the actual mower itself like that and you should get a good seal. And I guess we could collect this, connect this fuel line up, but before we do that I want to show you something. So if you can see all these petrol, the whole petrol tank now, this petrol tank just lifts off here like this. Under here, can you zoom in on there mate for me? I'm going to clean all this off in a minute. In fact I should have turned that off in the beginning, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh mate, yeah. forgot. This spring here is your governor spring. So if you're wanting your motor to run a little bit faster, you can kind of bend this tang a little bit. You can play about with this and like maybe, maybe the string, uh, the string, the spring a bit shorter and stuff like that. I'm going to leave this as it was. I'm going to get the compressor, I'm going to blow all this out of here. And probably when I finish servicing this motor, I'll probably strip it down again at some point. I'm going to repaint all this engine box, it's just such a mess I'm not going to do it on camera because it's not that interesting but I am going to make sure all these linkages and springs are nice and clean and everything moves exactly as it should otherwise you're going to get lawnmowers revving up and down if you've got one that's pulsing and surging and all that you're not going to rectify it by playing with these springs and moving all this it's, if, it's, if it's revving up and down the 99% chance it's because the carb is blocked you're not going to fix it by tinkering with these springs but if you did want to make your mower run a little bit faster you can bend this tab a little bit WD-40 I'll give this whole thing a spray down and we'll blow it off with the uh, the airline just clean all the dirt off it as well just try and keep it away from that carb a bit mate that's it that should do us so yeah I haven't done one of these for quite a while I can't believe I forgot that you could just lift the petrol tank off I knew it came off so I wanted to show you the spring behind it and for some reason I don't know why I didn't do it at the beginning so if you have watched the video I suggest doing that at the beginning you can give yourself access to all these parts one thing I want to do next I've got no oil in this mower now and I've got no fuel on the mower because I've taken the tank off what I want to do is investigate why the self drive's not working Hopefully the belt's just come off or something like that, but we're going to have a look underneath it while there's no fluids in this lawnmower. Right, so while there's nothing in it, I'm going to tip this over. I've also taken these bolts out of here, so if you tip it over, these will all fall out. So, as I said, there's no, there's no fuel in this mower. Now, there might be a little bit of oil left in it, but um, again, I'm going to make sure this spark plug is out, which it is. Have a look underneath. Um, to me, this just looks a bit of a mess. What does it? this blade adapter here maybe it's okay I'm going to take this blade off we're going to need to sharpen this I'm going to have a look under here I can see the actual drive box and still got the cable attached and everything like that so let's take this blade off and let's have a look at sharpening it up and see if under this belt guard here if there's actually still a belt so I've got a 17 mil socket here and I've got this impact sometimes this takes these off sometimes it doesn't please make sure your fingers are out of the way please make sure the spark plugs out if you don't have tools like this, like I didn't use to, you can wedge a bit of wood through the back of the mower from where the actual box attaches, put it underneath, stop the actual blade from turning, hold on to it and take it off with a spanner. So, with the right tools, it's great. That used to take me on my early videos, sometimes up to probably over an hour. I'm going to set that blade off there probably need to try and take this blade adapter off to get under here to see if there's a belt actually on this mower so these little tools are really helpful this is just a really heavy manual impact driver and what I've often found is that if you get one of these with the weight of this 
you can just about get these started so oh yes yeah, gone look like that just about turned so put a bit more WD on that I've got it turning a little bit hopefully we'll be able to get that off right so what I've had to do is I've actually had to cut this guard off it was a real mess I couldn't get the old bolts um, screws and stuff were, were rusted underneath um, so I've actually had to cut it off which is a shame but what I want to show you is basically all this under here is just the amount of mess that has been left by um, the belt guard in fact let's go and put this in the bin there's our green bin mate follow me nah. Oh look, look where that green bin is. Oh, oh I've got it on the floor now. Oh, that's oh, all good. Um, let's put it in the grass box there. Right, there we go. So what I want to show you is that the belt has simply come off. So to get this back on, I'm just going to push my finger over this. Can you see that? Can you yeah. see the belt? Mm. See it? Yes. I'm just going to put it back on. So, <laughs> you can see it slips off at the back there. I don't want that coming off. So let's go back the other way. There we go. The whole thing's back on. We've got the belt on there. Um, we'll try it when we get the blade sorted. We'll put that back on. So while we've got this off, we've got the belt on. I've just given this a little bit of a paint under here, just hopefully it'll protect it for the future years and save it rotting out. Because tendency with these is in these edges here, around here, if you leave the grass stuck underneath, it just rots away and you end up with a rotten deck when you don't need to. So while we've got the blade off, just giving it a quick paint. So this is a completely rough and ready way. I'd normally paint this, but I think I actually got. I normally have hammerite paint that I brush on, but I have got it done hard in the tin. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a, a little bit of a spray up around here. And that's all I'm going to do, just to tidy it up a little bit. So I've got this blade off, I'm going to give this a sharpen up. I won't film this. Basically, I've just got a bench grinder, I'm just going to run it along the same angle as this. You've got to get this on a level surface. When you've sharpened it, what you can do, especially on the bigger blades, this works well, is you can put this on here. You see how it's slightly out of balance? You can take a little bit off each end so you've got this perfectly balanced before you put it back on the mower. So we've got this blade back on, it has to sit over these pins here. Again, make sure that your plug's out, which it is. Move, keep your fingers out of the way. Make sure that's back on. There we go, blade back on. Got the belt back on, hopefully this will start and run and the self-drive will now work, which is great. So we're going to drop this fuel tank back on here now, this goes just slides down here, nice and simple. As I said your actual governor spring sits behind this, um, and take this fuel pipe back down here, connect this up to the back of the carb. I'm going to get this clip here, just push this on, it's actually easy to put this on first and then drop the tank down from the top. Grab this little thing here, make sure that that's there, and that's back on as well. All I've got left to do is refit all this air filter guard and we can try this mower once of course we've put some oil back in it. So this is the plug I took out of it, this is a Champion QC12YC. So it's quite small, turn that off a minute, um, <laughs> and I don't think I've got one that's a new one. Because what it is, is the, the sizes of them there, you can see how oh, that one's bigger. And this is like a BPR5 ES, I use that, I think they go on the Hondas. So the only other one I've got is a standard, these are the B2 LM ones, which I always linked in the descriptions of the videos. These are for your standard Briggs Classic engines. So I don't know if I've got the right one for it, so I think what I'll do on this occasion is I'll just clean this up a little bit and I'll put this one back in, so it certainly don't look like it's been running too bad. So we're just going to put this air filter box back on and give it a clean. One thing I wanted to mention is make sure you put this breather pipe here. Make sure you, when you get it back in you put the breather pipe back on there. And I've mentioned the parts before, there's four different ones, make sure you get them in the right places. And that's pretty much it, I'm going to need a new air filter for this, so I'll have to send away for one of those. Um, and that's the carb serviced. Got the underside of it sorted, we've got the belt back on. We've given it a bit of a tidy up, um, cleaned the plug off, had a look at the springs, cleaned all the linkages off. So we'll get this back on, we will put some oil in this, connect the spark plug up and we'll see if it all runs and, crucially, we'll see if the drive works. We've got some SAE 30 oil here, we've put 400 mil in, I think we take about, I think it's half a litre or half a pint, I can never remember, but we'll tip that in there mate. Should get a funnel really, shouldn't we, but go on, tip it in. That's it, and we'll fill that up. Clean the plug off, we'll put this back in last. I'm just going to fit this cover again, pretty simple, just three um, bolts just to tighten up. Then we'll fire this up, see if it runs. Right, we've got this cover back on, got some oil in, haven't we? Yep. Connected the spark plug up. Um, wants a bit of tidying up yet, doesn't it, but... 
give it a go. I'm really hoping for is I'm really hoping the drive works. If not, it might just be the belt that's a bit slack, but we've got a bit of tidying up to do on this one. I need an air filter. And ideally, I'd like to get the guard for the bottom of it as well. We'll give it a prime. Um, I guess we'll give it a go, mate. Ready? Yep. There we go, we made it. A um, little bit of revving up down still as it's got warmed up, it's started to settle down, so the drive works, which is fantastic. If I can get a box for this, I've got a great mo for 30 pounds. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come back out and finish tidying up. We'll show everybody what it looks like when it's finished. But first of all, let's go and have a sandwich. We're just giving this a final tidy up, aren't we, mate? Yep. Um, looking a lot better than it did before. Even that black paint doesn't look too bad around there, does it? No. And that should do me for a few seasons. Not bad for £30. I need to find a grass box that fits it. I've got one um, I can probably adapt, to be fair. It's never um, it's never going to look like new in this mower, but it um, certainly looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Pretty good job, mate, I think. We'll need to clean that handle off at the top, don't we? Yes. We'll do that. There we go. That's um, really the end of the video. I to show you what it came out like really, looks pretty uh, clean and tidy, all starts and runs alright. Need to get a new air filter for this, as a, as a grass box as well. So just an update to let you know that um, everything's well here, I'm just busy working on other things and websites and stuff like that. But I had a lot more to do, I thought I'd just film a video, say hello to everybody, wish you a great 2022. Things seem to be picking up now here in the UK as well, and I hope we all have a great summer. Thanks for watching.